Okay, so take a look at these people here in the picture. How many of you guys have ever felt this way in class? Just felt like you can't keep your eyes open, can't concentrate, and you're just feeling awful like this. Um, also, how many of you guys knew that the average college student needs seven to eight hours of sleep in order to function? Did you guys know that? Okay, so um, in this speech, I will inform you about the effects of um, sleep in daily life. I'm credible to talk about this topic of sleep due to my extensive research, um, which I'm about to share with you. First, I will talk about the effects of sleep in relation to brain function. Next, I will talk about sleep in relation to physical health. And lastly, I will talk about the effects of sleep in relation to safety. So first off, the effects of sleep on brain function um, due to uh, the involvement of our sleep in the uh, deep sleep stages is um, proven to help with memory. Um, Dr. Ken Poller of Northwestern University has done this research since 2013 and has um, published extensive research on the um, getting the number, you know, the number of hours, seven to eight hours, getting into that deep sleep stages and how that affects memory. So just a brief synopsis of his research. Um, he had all of his um, participants uh, go through a series of objects, memorizing their placement and some sounds that go along with them. And um, he had two groups, one stay awake and then one go to sleep. And the uh, groups that went to sleep and were able to get into those deep sleep stages were um, proven to remember more. So uh, sleep is uh, definitely beneficial for memory, but also um, beneficial for concentration and daily energy. So uh, these are the effects of um, sleep on brain function. So now I will talk about the effects of sleep on physical health. Um, so according to Dr. Lawrence J. Epstein, there is a direct correlation, um, a proven correlation between prolonged lack of sleep, so for college students that would be below this seven to eight hour threshold. Um, so getting uh, less than these hours of sleep, uh, you know, six, five, four, something along those lines, just below this minimum of seven, it is proven to, um, over time, um, it's proven to, um, I guess, heighten your risk for diabetes, heart disease, obesity, high blood pressure, and a lot of other things in that uh, kind of poor health realm. Um, so really just the direct correlation between amount of sleep and uh, how your physical health will be affected, especially later in life. It's not the immediate effects. It's going to be down the road as Dr. Um, Epstein had his uh, publication in the Harvard Division of Sleep Medicine in 2008. Um, also, with his research, not only is it with humans, but it's also with animals, and this um, prolonged lack of sleep, uh, especially with relation to your heart, and this uh, very heavy strain on your heart actually shortens your lifespan as well. So that is another one of his um, pieces of information published with the um, Harvard Division of Sleep Medicine. Um, so now that I've talked about the effects of sleep on physical health, I will talk about the effects of sleep on safety. As you can see here, published through the National Sleep Foundation with the Huffington Post, um, students, or I should say people, um, ages 18 to 29, which um, ourselves, a lot of students fall into this category, 71% of them um, fall in the likelihood of driving um, driving drowsy, which is kind of the terminology of just being overly tired, this um, just extreme fatigue, and it um, has the potential for you to fall asleep while you're driving. Um, so according to a survey done with the University of Cincinnati for 200 undergraduate students, which we fall into this category as well, um, in 2011, 55% of them were reported to get below this seven hour threshold, which is considered to have a lack of sleep, you're in that fatigue category. Um, so this is, I guess, um, poor for the possibility of um, accidents and being in car crashes, which brings me to my next piece of information. Dr. Charles Siesler with um, the Harvard Sleep Medicine Division in 2007 reported that driving drowsy, the cases per year are 1 million accidents are reported because of driving drowsy. 
um, 500,000 injuries are reported because of driving drowsy and um, 8,000 deaths per year are involved with this. So in conclusion, I, uh, the purpose of my speech was to tell you about the effects of um, sleep on daily life in the categories of brain function, which I first talked about. Secondly, I talked about um, effects of health on, um, or effects of sleep on physical health. And lastly, I talked about effects of sleep on safety. So in conclusion, I will leave you with a piece of information from an old Irish proverb, and it says, a good laugh and a long sleep are cures for everything.